Hello, IO Live. Todd Kerfelman here, and I am joined by Lior Stern, who is Product Operations Lead for Wear OS by Google. Hi, Lior. Hi, Todd. Hi, IO. So I couldn't help but notice there's quite a number of watches around. What's going on? Yeah, there are quite a few. In fact, there are 29 watches here, which represent uh, a broad spectrum of the watches available today running uh, Wear OS. Uh, you can see some of the kind of uh, high-end, luxury-oriented watches that we have here, like the uh, Hublot, which is a limited edition watch. Uh, you can see a good sampling of uh, fashion watches from brands like Michael Kors and Fossil. Uh, and on your right, we have a bunch of uh, more fitness-oriented watches, which have features like GPS and a heart rate monitor, and are great to use when you go out for a run or a workout. All right, very cool. And so what is new with Wear OS this year? So uh, what we're looking at here behind us are uh, these four displays which represent uh, the four product pillars of Wear OS. Uh, one of which is the Assistant, uh, and we launched a new UI for the Assistant that's actually rolling out to, uh, to watches now as we speak. Uh, and then next to that is the Productivity Pillar, which is focused on things like uh, being able to see when your next appointment is at a, as a glance or uh, a bunch of new features for Google Keep on Wear. Next to that we have the uh, connectivity and communication kind of pillar. Uh, we're doing a lot of work on uh, notifications, on making the watch a great way for you to be in touch with the people and things that matter to you. Uh, and then lastly, uh, the fitness pillar where we're also doing a lot of work on uh, Google Fit and also focusing on third-party apps uh, like Strava, like Lifesum, that, that bring a set of powerful users uh, features to uh, Wear OS users. Excellent, getting fit is always, is always good. So I know you had mentioned that um, we have some neat new features that take advantage of the Assistant. Can we see a demo of that? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a couple things at IO this year that are in developer preview. We're previewing a new uh, a power saver mode for the watch where once you dip below a certain battery threshold, we'll actually disable uh, a bunch of the radios and, and different features to extend the battery life of the watch and make it easy for users to get back to uh, turning everything on with a long press. Uh, the other preview that we have is Kotlin support for, for Wear OS. Uh, and the, the big feature that we're demoing here in the booth is the new assistant UI for Wear, uh, for which we can uh, segue to my colleague Kangwon for a demo. All right, let's go take a look right now. Hey Kangwon, I hear there's a new assistant on Wear OS. Can you show me what it does? Of course. Now it has all the actions available on the watch. So let's see it. Do I need an umbrella tonight? So it gives me the weather information. What's added is I can continue this conversation using suggestion chips, or I can talk it to uh, ask more questions, but such as uh, what about tomorrow? These are called suggestion chips that are relevant to the context and gives me more information. And these are first party actions. And I'm going to show you other third party actions because Google knows about the weather, but not everything. Google cannot turn on the light on this one because this is not Google product. Uh, would you tell it to let there be light? Say. All right, I'll do that. Let there be light. There we go. Whoa! That's amazing. Yeah, is and any really other? Cool. Yeah. Any other third-party devices it can talk to? We actually have a robot vacuum uh, right behind me. So let me try to uh, start cleaning this floor. Start cleaning. Whoa! Look at it go. Go, little robot vacuum. Go. Somebody has gone. Get those chips. Get them, get them, get them. That is awesome. And is there an action that will make my kids put their dishes away after dinner? You can build your own. That's the whole point. All right. You can have your own All right, that'll be available next year. <laughs> wow, that was fun. All right, so I have one last question for you. Uh, what time is it? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, my last question is, if I'm a developer and I want to find out more about uh, building something cool on Wear OS, where would I go? Uh, so now, developers can build actions on Google for the Assistant and just keep the watch in mind and make sure you test on watches. And of course, everyone should come check us out at wearos.google.com to learn about the platform and everything it has to offer. All right, so there you go, actions on Google and wearos.google.com. And hey, did you like this video? Want to see something just like it or kind of close to it? 
head on over to g.co slash io slash guide for more videos like this. Thanks everybody, we'll see you soon.